thinking and lateral thinking vertical thinking let's say you have three choices and uh, that one choices you are you're you're convinced right and then you're trying to explore more to it more data more thinking to it and then you're trying to grow that is called vertical thinking and the uh, lateral thinking is you have three options you had no you're not convinced you're gonna go with the four five six seven and go on endlessly and then try to see which is the best for you right so that is called lateral thinking hi everyone welcome back to abra knowledge channel today's video we're going to talk about book review book review number 18 and you may ask that what is the book i'm going to unfold today the book is lateral thinking and it is written by my favorite author edward de bono the same author who wrote about six thinking hat in my past video there are two video videos i have covered one talking about what is six, six thinking hat what is white hat blue hat uh, black hat and so on and so forth and also in in the application wise also i covered so two videos i covered uh, in the past about six thinking hat from the very same author and which i will also will give in the description so that you can also take a look on six thinking hat let's talk about this very book and wonderful book and um, as i said that this is my uh, favorite author and it says that it is you know lateral thinking is a book for creativity right in order to bring more creativity and all that this is a fantastic book there are other books you know, from the same edition pinjin uh, books collection uh, the books like uh, books like a better way to resolve them and the d bono code book and then you have happiness purpose how to be more interesting i am right you are wrong lateral thinking lateral thinking for management new thinking for the new millennium this is very useful for manager and opportunities parallel thinking although this book uh, cited about parallel uh, thinking in the last uh, section of the page and uh, then you have a simplicity six thinking hat teach your child how to think teach yourself to think teaching tech thinking the use of lateral thinking the very book water logic word power so these are all the things been coming from that uh, collection and now let's talk about more about this book so in this one uh, like both things are essential like whether you're talking about the vertical thinking or lateral thinking both thinking are very essential in order to be more creative let's talk about all of these detail i'm going to talk about the chapter two all of these detail i put it up in the ppt powerpoint presentation which i will be share the screen to you in a few minutes that will be very interesting for you to know the difference and when to use what and all that let me go ahead and share my screen so this is the one which we are going to talk about it and uh, lateral thinking creative step by step edward d bone book review number 18 vertical thinking versus lateral thinking yeah a difference between vertical the second chapter deals with vertical lateral thinking versus vertical thinking page number 37 all the way to 47 this i made it in notes in order to see a comparison window between vertical and lateral vertical thinking is selective you are you you are convinced with the fact that okay this is the thing is going to work out whether there is a project whether there is a process whether there is activity and whether there is your choice whether you uh, you know anything you have been very selective even with the food right so that particular thing is called vertical thinking you, you don't want to change the technique you don't want to change anything so you wanted to stick to it lateral thinking is generative you always wanted to see better and do it better and all that i think one fact about uh, you know the cricketer ashwin uh, which i like it very much is he's always trying to have it different thinking you know the the way he releases the ball the way every every time he's come with the different different techniques that is called this classical example of generative trying to be you know outside the box trying to uh, uh, give a room that you know don't be stuck with the only thing which you are uh, used to it or which you are you know all these days you have been doing it trying to think out outside the box that is called generative rightness is all matters perfection rightness is all matters in vertical thinking but here richness 
is all matters. Different collections, we are able to differentiate what is right and not wrong. And then you're trying to go in de detail to it and all that. So the richness is all, all matter. And most only if there is a direction, most in order to generate a direction, right? So vertical thinking is analytical. The same thing I quoted while I was describing about six thinking hat, white hat if you take it. So anything you wanted to say to them, so you need to have facts and figures, black and white, right? Like a paper, A4 paper, black and white. Whatever the information data set you have, with that they are going to process it. That same like vertical thinking is analytical. This is more from the proactive, meaning like they're trying to experiment it, trying to see what is best and all that. And vertical thinking is sequential, step by step and all that. It can leap, it can jump, it can make a jump. One has to be correct in every step and every dimension. But lateral thinking gives a freedom of choice. You can select anything. And concentrate, exclude what is irrelevant. But here there is no nothing called negative, right? Nothing called wrong answer. You always try to explore. And then you try to identify which is the best for you. Categorizations, classification, label are fixed, but here no categorization, classification. So you can you can go endlessly. You can go beyond the boundaries. Most likely path, explore the least likely in this one. Finite process, you have a set of rules, set of activities, but here probabilistic process, meaning like you go explore more thing, investigate, and then come back and implement. So let, let's talk about the example which is given in the book. So like vert, vertical thinking and lateral thinking. Vertical thinking, let's say you have three choices and that one choice is you are, you are, you're convinced, right? And then you're trying to explore more to it, more data, more thinking to it, and then you're trying to grow. That is called vertical thinking. And the uh, lateral thinking is you have three options you had. No, you're not convinced. You're going to go with the four, five, six, seven, and go on endlessly, and then try to see which is the best for you, right? So that is called lateral thinking. So take another example. Let's say you have a A, B, C, D. Once you complete the A, you will have a, the output of A goes to B. B receives the input from A, right? Like this sequential A, B, C, D, and all that. But if you look at the lateral thinking, this is a fantastic one. But you know, you you can you create another dimension like in G, and the G can receive information from A or D. R can have an interlink interlink uh, link connections. So that is the beauty. With lateral thinking, the steps do not have to be sequential. That's what we we saw here. One may jump ahead to a new point altogether. New point. This here in this example, the first example, there were only three solutions were there, and the lateral thinker found out the fourth, fifth, and then tried to you know. Uh, execute it what the best uh, in, in that uh, particular scenario and all that. One may jump ahead uh, to a new point and then fill in the gap afterwards. In the diagram opposite vertical thinking is steadily, you need to go A to B, B to C, C to D and all that. But here in the second example lateral, you can access it G from A or D or any vice versa also as well. So let's talk about the summary of this one. Uh, this is given in page number 45. The difference between lateral and vertical thinking are very fundamental. The processes are quite distinct and it is a matter of one, one process being more effective than the other. Both are necessary. That's what I was talking about. It is like when you know both of, both of them, lateral and vertical, you will know which tool when to use it, which thinking when, when to use it, right? It is a matter of realizing the difference in order to be able to use both effectively. So again, the author says that it is not like you are neglecting any one of them, right? Both are essential. You're trying to know the difference and then you're trying to explore uh, and use it, both of them, right? With vertical thinking, another difference it has given in the conclusion page, in the summary page. With vertical thinking, one uses the information for its own sake in order to move forward to a solution. With lateral thinking, one uses the information not for its own sake, but you get it from the teams and then try to repattern it and all that. That is the summary given in the book. Let's talk about my own notes. And I encourage you also can go through this one, go through this video, go through these notes, and then you can also put it up how you can apply at your workplace or how you can apply at your personal life and professional life. 
all professional to manage better decision this is the one you need to know that when to use lateral when to use parallel thinking when to use uh, new vertical thinking although parallel thinking i have not used it now but i will be covering in future but you, you need to know the art of thinking the auditor particularly auditor sometime you need to while while giving a non conformity while giving an observation while giving a recommendation you also need to think from the other consequences what else the consequences can happen what else whether does it add value to it and all that for that if you get to know more about these thinking patterns like vertical and lateral this will be very useful lean six sigma champion those who are involved in the lean six sigma aware of how people operate uh, people operate differently treat them fairly using uh, you know vt that is vertical thinking and lateral thinking executives for all the managers to facilitate the change to facilitate the transformation this can be also useful to improve the quality of thinking become a creative person this will be this differences will be very much useful so let me quote it again this book is wonderful book and uh, try to think from that and it will be very very useful so thank you so much and as i said that please comment how you are intended to apply this learn technique so that will be great so thank you so much please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead